verse 4, and his gifts were varied. He himself, verse 11, he himself appointed and gave men to us, some to be apostles, all right, some prophets, all right, and some, some, what, inspired, no, some ev uh, evangelists, and they're preachers of the gospel, and, and then traveling missionaries, some pastors, and then some teachers. What the, the, what the, the reason why we don't see this working like it's supposed to do and fulfilling the ministry, because we tend to forget that the Lord is the apostle. Because it says the apostle of our, of our faith. The Lord Jesus is the apostle, the only apostle, all right? And then the prophet is the Lord. Okay? The evangelist is the Lord. The shepherd is the Lord. And then the teacher is the Lord. The fivefold minister that God appointed, all right? If you are an apostle, it is the Lord God inside you who dwells inside you, who called you to make you an apostle. It is he himself who is going to flow through you and, and, and reveal the apostolic ministry. Jesus will flow through his life in that minister who is called to be apostle. Christ's life will be channeled through that apostle so the apostolic authority will flow through him. It is Jesus flowing through the minister whom he called to be apostle. Yeah. The same thing if you are a prophet. It is Jesus Christ or expressing the prophetic anointing through that man, man that, he, that he called to be a prophet. It's not the prophet who is doing his own stuff. It's not the apostle who does his own stuff. Okay, it is Jesus who made you an apostle and Jesus whose life, whose apostolic life has to flow through you yeah, and making you an apostle. Yeah. So you cannot be an independent uh, apostle of Jesus. Amen. Never. You're an apostle because Jesus made you so. Mm -hmm. And you depend on Jesus because he flows through you and, and, and makes that apostolic gift work through you. The same thing, the prophetic word, the prophetic anointing. In fact, I, I, I used to say these are five anointings. The fivefold ministry, there are five anointings of Jesus Christ. Right? Jesus has the apostolic anointing. Jesus is the prophet with the prophetic anointing. Jesus is the evangelist with the evangelistic anointing. Jesus is the, is the shepherd with the pastor, pastoral, okay, the pastoral anointing. And Jesus also is the teacher with the didactic anointing. Didactic means teaching. Mm -hmm. All right? So it is fivefold you know, anointing that Jesus himself channels through the apostle, channels through the prophet, channels through the evangelist, channels through the, the, the shepherd, and channels it through the teacher. Yes, it is Christ, his life, that is flowing through you as an apostle. Okay? And it makes you an apostle. With the anointing of an apostle. All right, that comes from Christ. Christ through the prophet makes him prophet. Christ through the evangelist makes him evangelist. Christ through the shepherd makes him his shepherd. Christ in the teacher is the one who makes the man a teacher. Nobody makes himself a teacher. Just because you go to Bible school, then you are a teacher. A teacher or what? You can teach, but it is an intellectual. That's all you do without Jesus. Okay? It's an academic. That's all we go to the cemetery to go and, uh, to go and learn. Academic you know, stuff. We, we, we study theology. We, that, we never study the very character. We don't expe experience the very character of Jesus in our seminaries. We do not. We study theology. We study academic stuff. But the soul don't grow up through academic gifts. The soul, the soul grows through the grace of God. Yeah. Any minister who is a minister of the fivefold caliber has grace and, and, and mercy poured into him by Jesus. That's it. And according to the call of Jesus on his life, he becomes that channel for the evangelistic gift to flow through him. Amen. He becomes that a, a channel for the didactic gift, the teaching gift 
to flow through him. He becomes that, you know, that channel, okay, so that he allows the prophetic you know, voice you know, to flow through him. Yeah. And then the apostle becomes that channel through whom the apostolic gift from Jesus flows. So these men are never independent of Jesus. That's right. Never. If you are independent, you are a rebel. Mm -hmm. your, your anointing is not from God, it's from the devil. Anyone who is independent of Jesus Christ, all right, is not of Christ. Oh, no, you can go and do all you want to, but the Lord does not recognize you. His character must be revealed in you. Yes. All the fivefold ministry, the character of Jesus Christ is at the very center. His mercy, his loving kindness, his love, his peace, his holiness, his, 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 his righteousness, all of it must channel through you. Amen. He must reveal his very character in, in the fivefold ministry. So how then do you, you show you're an apostle, but you can never handle Jesus? Okay, because the, the, the apostolic handles Christ. Look at the apostles. What did they preach? Christ. Christ is what they manifested. Okay? You say, hey, I got no silver, I got no gold, I got something. Yeah. The one I have is what I, it, it's, it's him I give you. Yeah. The one I have, that's the one I give to you. In his name, rise. That's the apostolic you know, you know, you know, uh, ministry. Okay? The, the prophetic is Christ. So I'm saying, the reason why we have failed, this, this five-fold ministry is not working because we don't know Jesus. We are doing it on our own. You, I call myself an apostle and then I go and read something then I try to, you know, you know, you know, to let it work. Uh, that don't make you an apostle. There has to be a character. On, there has to be an anointing from God. Yes. You don't get up and become an apostle. Who made the apostle? A denominational apostle? Okay, go. Yes. But the apostle from Jesus Christ, you must have a character. Uh, Why are men of God now falling by the wayside? They don't know Jesus. They never committed their whole being to Jesus Christ. The Lord never ruled over them. The Lord never controlled their inner life. Are you hearing me? If you want to serve Jesus, you better serve him right. If you want to serve Jesus, you better, if you are a woman you want to serve Jesus, you better become a woman of God. With righteousness and holiness and meekness of heart and love and peace and everything that Jesus is in your being. Amen. 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 You want to serve Jesus? Why have we made a mess of the ministry? Okay, let's go on. You said these five, four people, because their job, you say it's here, and his gifts were varied apostle, uh, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. His intention, verse 12, his intention in giving these, giving these gifts was the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints. Mm -hmm. 